Why? Why would I do that? Open up. You open up. Hit you one baby and We should be closer than friends. I have so much going on. It's not even funny. Hi guys. Welcome back to Who My Mess. Give me one second. Welcome back to my channel. I feel like there's a lot of stuff I have to update you guys on. For one, I'm in a new house. My mom actually bought her own house. We've been moving for the past two weeks, chaotic. But here we are. Basically, I asked everybody on Instagram, on Snapchat, if they would like a story time about the first, probably, the only time I have ever, ever initiated something with a guy. The nerves, they get to me. This is the time it's all in my head, except for maybe this time. <laughs> Tried to film this video today, three times, getting interrupted by stuff. So we're gonna try this again. I've been going to Planet Fitness for maybe three years. As soon as I came back from St. Mary's, I got my gym membership. Now I'm not gonna say any names, I'm not gonna give specific locations just because I don't want anybody to know who I'm talking about, I guess. I'm sure some people might figure it out. We're gonna call this guy Mike. When I first got my membership of Planet Fitness, I would go all of the time. One day I saw Mike and I was like, oh, he's cute. I would smile at him, he would smile at me. Never spoke a word to each other, I don't think. But, okay. Being my anxious self, I never said anything to him. He never said anything to me, which you would think was a, maybe a hint for a red flag. Anyways, I ended up moving gyms. I don't wanna say that I forgot about him, that sounds kind of mean. We went our separate ways. Ugh. I'm not really nervous because I feel like this Mike person might see this. Anyways, I was at that gym for maybe another year or so. Then I moved again. So their gym, there's a lot of um, employees that are being like rotated. I didn't pay much attention to it at first. And then Bam, Mike. The first time I saw him, I went to go work out and I saw him there working out. And I was like, I remember you. And he looked at me and he smiled at me. Like, I remember you too. Never said anything. Fast forward a couple days. I go on a weekday. I see Mike again. Except this time, he's not working out. He has a shirt on, a specific shirt, a purple shirt, a Planet Fitness employee shirt. Still at that point, I was like, oh, like maybe somebody called in, maybe somebody had an emergency and he came to cover them. Still didn't think much of it. Then I saw him again. And again, and again. In a span of two weeks, we made eye contact. We would smile at each other, you know? I told Alexis, there's this guy who I think used to work at the first Planet Fitness. Now he's a manager at the new Planet Fitness. In my head, I was like, well, maybe he'll talk to you. I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. I, I just expected for it to escalate a little more than us just like, you know, maybe a high or something. Well, for a whole week, I'm going to the gym. Let's see if this guy's here. Maybe he like says hi. Before I initiated things, I don't think we ever said a word to each other. Like it was just smiles. I tell Alexis, I don't know what to do. Is he just being nice? I'm clueless when it comes to this kind of stuff. One of the times that Alexis went with me, he was there. And she was like, like he's definitely, you know, 
now I don't know what to do. Now there's this pressure. Wow, like was he flirting with me the whole time and I didn't even know it? Maybe he has tried talking to me and like I avoided it. So I'm like, what do I do? And she's like, go say hi to him. Start a conversation. If you know me, know me, know me, that I am not the type to start a conversation, not the type to initiate flirting, not the type to make the first move at all, point blank, period. I'm not. But as you guys know, I'm on my mental and spiritual growth journey. I somehow convinced myself. You're a bad fit. You're beautiful. You're funny. You are kind. You are bold. You're going to be bold because it's going to work out in your favor. You've never been bold. And that's why you've been single for four, five years, technically. I don't know, I don't know what came over me and I was like, okay Alexis, today, by the end of the day, I am going to spark a conversation. I did. I waited until I was done working out and he has like a break in between shifts where he works out. So he was chilling on the Stairmaster, which why would I go up to somebody while they're working out? But I popped up in the Stairmaster next to him. And I was like trying to be subtle, trying to act like I don't already know. Like you look really familiar. And he was like, Honestly, you look familiar too. Okay, reaffirming. Like it's not all in my head, you know? And I was like, oh, like still just playing dumb. Well, um, I don't know. I don't know from where. I don't know. He was like, I've been working with Planet Fitness for a long time. So like, maybe that's where. I feel like he knew too. I was like, yes, I used to go to the Planet Fitness on so-and-so street. And he was like, I used to work there. And it was like, and that was it. I was like, well, like, I don't want to interrupt your workout. And he said, this guy said, it's okay. I don't mind. What? Tell me. Maybe I'm a psychopath. Maybe I'm wrong. Tell me that is not subtle flirting. And I was like, ha ha. I freaked out. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, gotta go. And I left. Then I told Alexis, who came with me the next day, this is what happened. I'm gonna see if he talks to me more. He did not. He said hi to me, whatever. Still gave me the same smiles that we have been exchanging, I guess for like three years now. There I go again, trying to be bold, getting out of my comfort zone. You know what I did? Do you know what I did? Now that I'm about to tell you guys and replay it in my head, who did I think I was? So again, he was working out. Why would I go up to somebody who's working out? Why? Why would I do that? I don't know. But I went and I said, Hey. And he said, Hey. And then I said, I have a question for you. Actually, I have two questions for you. And he was like, okay, well, I have two answers for you. Still being a flirt, Mike. And I, <laughs> my first question was, do you have a girlfriend? I think I am. I don't know, but he said no. If somebody asked me if I had a boyfriend and I didn't want to talk to them, I would have said yes. End of conversation. So <laughs> I said, okay, my next question then. I asked him why he hadn't asked for my number. Why would I say that? Now or never. But you know what? He gave me his Snapchat and said, Okay, I'll message you. I walked out of that gym feeling so empowered, so strong, so fearless. I didn't, I, I, as you guys can guess, he did not message me. I think he was being nice. I see him most of the week and he didn't want it to be awkward. But I was like, why? Little by little, I started initiating more conversations with him. Then I would Snapchat him a couple times. It never went anywhere. Like it just, he wouldn't answer me. He wouldn't open it. At that point, I'm like, this is dead. He doesn't want to talk to me, which is fine. But this train of thought leads into the next portion of the situation. I then went on to ask you guys on my social media, 
if you wanted to see the story time about the time that I got rejected by the manager at my gym. All of you said yes. And you know what happened? He swiped up. He swiped up on my post and put this emoji two times, maybe three. I don't remember. And I was mortified. I didn't, I don't know. He didn't message me back. I assumed he didn't watch my story, like wasn't trying to stir the pot. He doesn't, there's no interest. So what are you gonna do? And he swiped up. We exchanged some witty comments, which again, call me crazy, but it was flirty. And he said, I think you're cool. This and that. We talked a little more at the gym. I don't know. I don't know what to think anymore. Then a couple weeks later, I'm talking with employees at my gym. A girl walks by. You know what this employee says? Oh, look. There goes Mike's crush. Why couldn't he have just been like, sorry, I'm not interested. That was, at that moment, I was like, I'm a dumb. In my head at the moment, I was like, I am never flirting with a boy ever again, ever again. But now that I'm here and I'm talking about it, I was actually really proud of myself. That's something I never would have thought that I would be able to do. And I did it. So maybe if, there's another situation where the signs are a little more clear. Maybe I can try being bold again. Maybe it'll work out. Maybe it won't. But it felt good to try. I don't even know if Mike is going to see this. And if he does, it's either going to get really awkward or we're going to become friends. Hopefully it's the friends, but we'll see. All right, guys. Um, This was my first story time. I don't know how to feel about it. Let me know what you guys thought about it, if you guys want more of these types of videos. I thought it was nice to just kind of vent a little bit. I feel like I have some more pressing topics that'll be a little more entertaining for you guys. Yeah, if that's something that you do want, let me know. Okay, bye!